Hello guys, KP Shabino here with a new video for Fishing Planet and this morning I made a video for the new tournament, not a new tournament, but a tournament for this month. And I got a guide with the match setup in Colorado. Some guys under that video said to me that you only can use a spinning rod and a casting rod. That's true. But that's not all, they put in tackle type barbless hook too. So and that's problematic. Because you can only use barbless hook on the bottom and a match setup. So that's going to bring a lot of confusion. Because the last couple of years we can fish with bottom and match setups in this tournament. There are a shitload of videos out with that setup. And a lot of people are going to be in trouble. Because if people go now to the qualifier 1. And got only a match setup with them. And realize that they don't get points for that. They are fucked. Because you need to leave the tournament and you never can enter qualifier 1 again. Because you need to go to your home storage and come back. So what did I do? I sent a mail on Discord. But I did not really got an answer on the question. So they said to me that they are going to change the text. Because it's going to give confusion. Uh, but they cannot do it anymore before the tournament starts. That's something that I can understand. It needs to go to qualifier... Uh, quality assurance but then I s ask the question is bottom setups and match setups going to work because we got barbless hook here but I didn't get an answer uh, for that question so at the moment I can only say to you guys this and this will work 100% sure match setup and bottom setups probably will not work but there is a trick that we can do so what I'm going to do is like this so if you check the qualifier one you will see here a young rainbow trout and a young cutthroat trout is counting too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going with this setup, my match setup. I'm going with the 6 or a 10 hook and with crickets. I think there is something better. So let's have a look. Isn't there like a bait that is better that we are not going to get the crappy? Uh, maybe the X. Yeah, maybe the X is a better one. So I'm going with the natural X. That's what I'm going to do. So let's have a look. Do I got them here in my... Yeah. Here natural X. So probably what I'm going to do is like this. Bring the other baits by the way too. So I'm going to enter the tournament. I'm just going to this peg. With my bobber setup. I'm going to try to get a cutthroat trout at this 0.3 gram. So I'm going to this peg. Private. And if that's going to count me points, I know the match setup is working. Because the match setup is really good here. If we need to fish with spinning and casting setups, it's going to be a lot harder to catch decent amount of fish. Because it does not work that well in this setup. So I'm coming here, I'm going to throw it here. And hope that I'm going to get the cutthroat out and then I can see the points. Okay, it's working. Never do this on the target fish, by the way. Don't come here with a match setup, throw in the water, get a unique cutthroat trout and see it not counting. Try it on the small fish. And that's something that I'm going to try or just watch a streamer if somebody is going to test it. That's uh, the only thing that I can do. Uh, so uh, that's it, guys. So spinning, casting setup, I'm sure. Match setup, I don't know. Because I didn't get the answer. That's the only thing that I can say to you guys. So that was it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.